Hi, my name is Daniel Campbell. I have a PhD in immunology, and I've been a principal investigator here at the Benaroya Research Institute since 2003. Together with colleagues here at the BRI, we've developed a new approach for treating autoimmune diseases. These are diseases in which the immune system starts to attack and destroy otherwise healthy tissues, like the pancreas in type 1 diabetes, the central nervous system in multiple sclerosis, or the cartilage and joints in rheumatoid arthritis. In our approach, we've engineered a protein called interleukin-2 to help treat these diseases. The immune system is a bit like a car, and interleukin-2 is like the driver of the car, pushing on the accelerator and the brakes when appropriate to start and stop an immune response. In patients with autoimmunity, this system malfunctions and the brakes don't work. We've engineered a version of interleukin-2 that can only hit the brakes, and we found that in a mouse model of type 1 diabetes, treatment with this version of interleukin-2 arrests ongoing autoimmunity and provides sustained protection from disease. I often get asked when will patients benefit from this research. Similar IL-2-based drugs are entering clinical trials soon, so it's quite possible that within a couple years, these will become therapies available to autoimmune patients. Can these drugs be used to treat diseases other than type 1 diabetes? Malfunctions of the interleukin-2 system are a feature of multiple autoimmune diseases, including multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and vitiligo. So we're hopeful that a wide variety of autoimmune disease patients will be able to benefit from these interleukin-2-based therapies. People are interested in how we came up with this idea. Interleukin-2 has been studied for several decades by immunologists, and about 20 years ago, scientists discovered that it had this potent ability to turn off the immune system. Since then, it's been an ongoing challenge to develop better IL-2-based therapies for treatment of autoimmunity. Can interleukin-2 be used to treat other types of diseases? Yes, although our goal was to develop a version of interleukin-2 that turns off the immune system to treat autoimmune diseases. Other scientists are working on versions of interleukin-2 that only press the accelerator and might be beneficial to patients with cancer or with chronic infections. Our hope for the future with this research is to better understand how our engineered versions of interleukin-2 function. In particular, there's an immune cell population called regulatory T cells that respond to interleukin-2 and we are very keen to understand how our engineered version of interleukin-2 impacts the function of these cells in autoimmune disease. I'm passionate about the research that we do at the Benaroya Research Institute because I see how it impacts patients' lives. This has been a challenging time to do research because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but we really appreciate all the support that you all give us.